Hi guys, Mercy once again. Welcome to my channel. Today, I bring you on board a visitor. Let me give her a chance to introduce herself. Hey guys, my name is Virginia. I'm a sales representative and I'm very grateful, grateful to be here. Okay, Virginia, tell us about your journey as a sales representative. Okay, once more I say thank you for being invited here. My journey started in 2016 when I started sales. It was not as it was not easy because I never thought I could go door to door or shop to shop convincing the customer to take my product. At first, when I was approaching the customer, others they say they don't want even if you have not before even you have said what you want to say, the customer just look at you and say no. I was just a bit discouraged at first time. So I thought like it was very hard. Even I thought I could quit. But when I just imagined my background, I didn't have money for rent. I didn't have anything. I needed to just continue and struggle and see. That, fulfill my promises. that must have been very hard. Very hard. Imagining that no one wants to talk to you. But you still have to do it to due to the challenges you're facing. Sure. You need the cash, you need the job. Tell us, what inspired you to that extent that you you didn't want to give up no matter the challenges you are facing? Okay, my background was not a bit well because I, I was a grown up. I needed to go to salon. I needed to make up myself. I don't have a job. I've just found a, a small job to start. I needed to struggle so that I could fulfill my purpose in my life. Because you know, when a lady grows up, she no longer goes to his mother and say, mom, give me the money for dress. Yes. So I needed to move on and start chasing my dreams. Yes, and you needed to look good like those girls outside. Yeah, I saw my friends, they used to dress well. When we go to party, I see myself, I say, wow. But I couldn't afford, but here I am. I found a job. So it was a bit challenging, but when I continued with sales, I found a good friend of mine. So at, at, the, at the beginning, when you were starting, which was the biggest? Yes, you had many challenges, but which was the biggest challenge that you faced that until today, you can give it out as a story? <laughs> uh, my first challenge was the person approaching so that they can buy your product. At first, when you approach a customer, not cust not every customer is a good customer. Others, they will say no. Others, even they don't want to hear it. So there's a, a woman. I first went and I approached her. I started greeting her. She never answered. When I started talking, she just looked at me. I talked and never did some. He never even talked to me again. I thought to myself and I said, what did I say wrong? So when I... I moved, when I was just there, I, I just came out from there and I told my friend, I called my friend, I told her, you know what, I'm tired of this job. I will not talk to anyone, I'm just going home. So my friend, the friend that I found in the sales, she was a bit older than me in the job. So he just encouraged me and told me, not every person you approach will come the same way. Others will approach you, Others will not approach you, so you need to start to be strong, to be and, strong. and confident yeah, in the, the job. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I needed to be strong. If you don't talk to me, I just move there and I just go. I never argue with anyone first. I never argue with the customer anymore. So how about the targets that the company was setting? Did you be able to achieve or were you able to achieve during those first days? Of course, you will never achieve the target. Even the people that I found them there, they never, they, it was a bit challenge for the target because once more you are competing with many companies. You are not the first company. There are many companies selling the same product. Competition is a bit high. You, the target you have been given, is a bit higher than the, the another company. So there are people prefer the other company. Be, so you need to come with a, a great, you need to come with a very convincing part so that the customer will take your product. 
and it was just a bit challenging. In fact, when you do sales and you are given targets, it's very, very difficult because at the end of the day, you have not feel full, the companies want, and you want the salary. So even the manager said, how can, he give, can I give you the money? And you have you not achieved the target. targets. Yeah, it was a bit challenging. So how was your pay? Was it commission based or a basic salary? How was it? At first, when you, at first we were told we'd be paid a salary of three months, and then after that it was a commission. So it was just a bit. The first three months was good, but a bit of commission it was the very greatest thing you could have done, you could have ever achieved in your life, mm. because you could sell. And then the day you have a small amount. You could have said, I usually told my friend, I wish it was a salary. Because you could have ended up without nothing if you don't achieve Same. the target. Mm. Yeah. And you can imagine that you have some rent to pay. Sure. Maybe you need, you, you need to send your parents something. Even something the transport. Like because yeah, the, end the of transport the day, to the lunch. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the place you are going to work is not the place you are, you are staying. Mm. You need to go far. Mm. Sometimes even you go, the fair ends up and you have not come back and you did need to come back. So it was just a bit challenging. So what was the best part? Apart from the challenges, mm. what was the best part about the sales job that kept you going? That thing that makes you want to, no matter the challenge, no matter the customer not talking, mm. I still have to push on. What was the best, which is that best part? The best part is when you just approach the customer and he agrees and says it's a good even though he will not buy the that time the customer has made you feel at least today i've achieved something even though if you have not sell the product you have achieved something because the customer you have approached the customer he talks to you good he say come this day you see at least you see i've convinced one customer now i feel good that was the best part of the so you said you started from 20 2016. 2016 till yeah. today. Yeah. So comparing 2016 and 2020, how is it today? Are the challenges still bothering you or? Okay, the challenges can never end. At the end of the day, even if you stay in the company more than 20 years, you still find the customer that is not satisfied with your product. So challenges are still there, but the the more the more you stay, the more you cope with the challenges. And the more you are very happy, even if the customer does not uh, come to you or he just pretends he doesn't understand, you see, at the end of the day, you have achieved something because that five years, it's a great year. It can never be compared with when I started. How do you handle the tough customers, to be precise? I just, every time I come, every time I go to approach the customer, I usually tell God, God help me so that I will not get angry. Because anger can lead you to something that is not good. So even if she has approached me badly, I just smile and pretend I haven't heard anything. Because when uh, my mentality comes, I could just talk to the customer bad. And the rules and regulations of the company, you're not supposed to talk to the customer with a rude way. Even if he slaps you, you just need to go. Yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. So, what advice would you love to give to the upcoming sales representative? The first part is never give up. Even if you face a lot of challenge, never give up. Since the time I started my sales until now, I've never given up. And since the time 2016, I've been promoted for more than three chairs and I've never given up. So don't give up, don't lose hope, no matter what happens. Thank you, Virginia. We are really grateful to have you today. So, thank you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.